Okay, guys. I'm doing the hard one first. Ho oh, ho, there's a lot of little nicks and crannies in here. And it's the flakes. You can really, really see where the, uh, the old paint is flaked. So I'm not going to get you in too close until I'm done. <laughs> a couple of other red pieces going to be red hanging there. But I'm starting to close the garage door because it's getting uh, pretty fumey in there, even though I'm outside. The uh, fumes are getting in there. I've smelt them this morning from yesterday's minor paint. I did some black yesterday. So I want to get this done. And of course, you know me, I'll assemble it while it's still sticky. <laughs> That's just me. All right. There, I got my red base. Reddish orange, right? I got my silver head, which is going to go on there. I even got my black blade with the sinister edge. I got the Rewind, air cleaner, plastic, all the bolts. I think I want black. I thought black bolts on the head would look cool, huh? And then silver bolts on the muffler, silver bolts on the wheels. And yeah, so we will, uh, oh, I just can't wait to put it all together. I might have to start with the wheels just to see. Oh, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I just remembered I got to do the black handles. Yes, I had enough to get the handle done. And uh, that's the beater muffler, and this is the good one over here. So everything's just kind of hanging out and drying now. Thanks, guys. So this is the tire that had the uh, spokes repaired. Now, I mean, yeah, at 10 feet, it's going to look bad. But once it's on the lawnmower, it's going to look great. For, sorry, for walking around. But, you'll get the picture. Got one tire on already. It's coming back. Okay, it's easier to use the impact. I'm just so old school, I scare myself. That's pretty damn true. I'm going to loosen that off just a tad. A skosh! You guys wouldn't think that a Canadian would know anything about NASCAR, right? Eh? Daryl Waltrip says that when he's talking. Just a little skosh. All right, I just slipped the the head in with the black bolts. I just think it looks just too cool. They're just run in with the drill. And for some reason that didn't drop my watch. For some reason that just didn't record. So now I'm going to torque it down. We'll get that good plug back in there. And then the muffler. So I'm just going to torque that down and I'll be back. I have to figure out uh, how much 160 inch pounds is in foot pounds? Okay, so now we should have a spark plug laying around here. That'll do for now. That's the one I painted silver. Do we have contacts in there? Yes, we do. Good. Now, what do you think about a nice, bright, shiny muffler on there? Okay, next step. The super cool, wonderful, fantastically painted muffler. Didn't that come out well? And I got anti-seize on the bolts already. Forgot my little... Fantastically super cool little bolt stopper. Good thing the anti seize is silver, or yeah. All right. I 
can get another eighth of a turn on it. Crutch. Of course, that's the one you can see. Okay, so now what we're going to do is get a big screwdriver and a tapper. Are you guys still with me? Yes, you are. I'm going to bend this flange down. So these bolts don't come out. Jeez, I don't want to do that on that other one, eh? <laughs> I wonder if I've got a smaller screwdriver that'll... Good. All right. Big screwdriver. It's because it's not bolted in, eh? It's hard to work on. Perfect. Okay. Now, we have, everything's going to get scratched up a little bit. You know that, but. There we go. Are you guys still with me? Yes. Guess I should pick the best bolt for the top, eh? One, two, three, right there. All right, now I'm sticking on the two super cool screen that I had sp spare in my shed and painted black as well. Yes, I'm assembling with a drill. I can tell if the threads are, are uh, stripped or not on metal. It's the plastic stuff that you gotta watch. I'm still gonna turn them down by hand, though. You don't need to be wrecking a clutch, eh? This is called a clutch. Good. Okay, what's next? Holy smokes, we're getting close to putting it onto the engine, eh? I think the... Alright guys, I think it's time for a... Let's see, what would they say in the big world? Let's, we're going to marry the motor onto the frame. Want to make sure i got no fingerprints. Yes, it's going to cut long. Let's see, what's the back? So the muffler faces the back. Something weird like that, eh? Right there. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful! Yes, it has its imperfections. Yes, I got it started. That's all that counts. Rag. I've got, don't worry guys, I've got anti seize on these. You remember how tight they were coming out, eh? I'm going to use your little uh, guide. Uh, I'm just so freaking excited right now. I'm going crazy. There it is. Okay. Let's see if we can tighten this up without wrecking anything.
We've got some bolts left. The handlebars. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm just going to put the handlebars on now and we'll come back. Let's walk around her. Not too close. I don't want you to see the imperfections. Love the silver head. What do you guys think of that? The silver head and the silver muscle. The silver muffler! <laughs> All right. And look at how good the tires turned out, hey? Considering they were used and abused. All right, handlebars. All right, my weird little lawnmower is coming. Got handlebars, pull ropes, guards. I put the handlebars in the middle. I wasn't quite sure about the height there. Right there. So now it's just got to get. I just got to get the blade on. So I guess I should be no further ado. It's going to be a bit tricky because it has a real. It has a little woodruff key that keeps falling out. But we will do it. And I think it's a nine sixteenth. light but David would be proud of me. Okay. Order of key. Gonna have to tap it in I think. Are you guys watching? Yes you is. Sort of kind of but not really. Blades going up. <laughs> I must be getting tired. Just a sec. I just dropped something. Was I taping all of that? <laughs> okay, let's get this key out. Okay. Getting tired, eh? Hey? Okay, we'll tilt this just a little bit more. I believe that's the last pieces that I need to make on this mower. No more parts. So this is the parts I got left. That's not bad. I don't have oil in it yet, so you can't see it run until tomorrow. But that's just a flash in the pan for you. Okay. We'll start it tomorrow. Yes, the paint is not perfect, but it's cute. It's even got the dorky tie wraps, eh, like they do at the factory. And she's all original. Even the throttle works pretty good. I used my cable greaser. So I'm done for the day. And we'll, we'll uh, fix any misgivings tomorrow. Thanks a lot, guys. Well, there it is. Absolutely crazy. Yesterday, it was 30 degrees here, which is 90. And after a whole day, I was exhausted, hot, sweating. We had a storm blow through last night, and now it's 15, which is like, I don't know, 58? 
whatever. Cooler. So, the little brakes. It, everything's dried overnight. And I'm gonna stick a half a liter of oil into it, or 500 mils, or a half a quart. Same, very, very similar. Put some oil in her. Oops. Mm -hmm. Don't want to spill oil on my new creation. I'll blow the dirt off of it after I get the cap back on. Then we'll put some go juice in it. This is the best shot. I love that painted head. I think the heat from the first startup will cure that. Okay, three quarters of a tank is perfect on these. So, let's do this. Three quarters throttle. Primer up. I'm excited. They're not squirting. So there's no reason why it shouldn't start. Let's find out. We are recording. Yes, we are. Let's do this. There's no brake on this one, eh? Gotta think about that. Oh yes, the switch is on there. Now I gotta get it to turn. So let's try and start it up again. Try that now. I'm just trying to get the on off switch to work. There we go. I wonder how the head's making out. I don't want to know as far as paint, eh? Cool! All right. The peeling paint on the muffler, I think, is because it wasn't previously painted. There's a little bit of blistering on the on the on the head, but it's okay. I mean, it, once it's got, it starts to get used, it'll be just another lawnmower, right? But I'm stoked. It starts with one pull. Too cool.
you guys remember before, it's basically running now the same as it was before I, I painted it. This looks better with paint. 